I totally get that it can be tricky to figure out which is the best email marketing platform for your business because there's literally hundreds of them out there. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing the top five platforms that I recommend to clients as well as sharing which types of businesses each of these platforms are best suited to. All right, let's get into it. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kate Emily and I'm a brand and content strategist that helps entrepreneurs grow a community, build connection and convert clients on autopilot. So I'll be comparing the custom features for MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, MailerLite and Flowdesk in relation to a business owner that's just starting out in business, maybe got a few hundred subscribers versus someone that's been doing email marketing for a little while and has a few thousand people on their list. So without further ado, let's start at number five, MailChimp. So MailChimp is one of the most popular platforms with over 12 million users. And a lot of beginners start with this platform because there is a free version available. However, after speaking to a lot of my clients, they're saying that it's actually quite complicated and confusing to use. But in the comparison I'll be sharing at the end of this video, I'll show you how pricey MailChimp can get as your subscriber base increases. So who is MailChimp best for? Well, it really focuses on e-commerce businesses as it integrates really well with any digital marketing pro products. So it will integrate well with Squarespace sites, Shopify, and anything where you're selling your products online. And it has a whole lot of templates set up for abandoned cart and other e-commerce type functions. Next up, number four is ConvertKit. So personally, I've never used ConvertKit for my business. However, I've dabbled in it through a free trial as well as used it for my clients. So ConvertKit really prides itself on being a platform for content creators and focuses on delivering emails that are text rich. So what I mean by that is they're not image or design heavy. They're really focused on delivering great content. So a lot of bloggers, YouTubers, and people that are creating regular content are using this platform to share those hero pieces of content with their email list. So who's it for? Well, it's for creatives that are really wanting to make a bigger impact and they're wanting their content to be seen by their community. They also have some clever features like a split testing and link tagging which is great for anyone that's wanting to go to that next level with their email marketing and really get strategic with it however this may be a little bit beyond beginners number three is active campaign so I used active campaign for a while and I loved it it was a really great platform especially from a workflow perspective and what I mean by workflows is automations so these are like a sequence of emails that are sent out automatically to your email subscriber and these are a really great way to add a bit of customization to the experience of your new subscriber giving them a certain type of of content as they flow through that process. The only tricky thing with that is you can dive really deep into that sort of tech savvy stuff, which I definitely did, and focus too much on creating these perfect nurture sequences and less on actually getting more people into my list. So if you're wanting to take your email marketing to that next level, it's a really nice place to do so. So who's it for? Well, entrepreneurs that are really wanting to focus on selling digital products. So whether that be a course, an ebook, templates, and so on. The customization capabilities of ActiveCampaign will enable you to really create that more bespoke customer journey, which will make your new subscriber feel like you've created this journey just for them, which is a really nice personal touch and is awesome for selling online. Number two is MailerLite, which is the little dark horse in the email marketing world. It is becoming a really popular alternative to MailChimp as it's super affordable and easy to use. This comparison shows a great snapshot of why you might choose MailerLite over MailChimp. They pride themselves on offering all features to all paid plans, so you only pay more when your subscriber list increases. And you can make the assumption that as your list increases, your, your business is, is growing as well. So paying a little bit more for a bigger list kind of makes sense. 
So who's it for? Well, anyone getting started with email marketing because it's really easy to use. There's a free version with up to a thousand subscribers and it has really impressive integrations with a lot of platforms. So you don't need a middleman like Zapier to help you out. And number one is Flowdesk. So this is the platform that I use for my email marketing and it is such an easy platform to use and it's got such beautiful designs. So it's really focused on creating emails that your community want to receive. But it's not just a pretty face, it's got all the tech you need with workflows, forms, landing pages and so on. But one of the really cool things about Flowdesk is they don't charge you more for more subscribers. So it's just one flat fee for everybody. So if you're really focused on growing your email list, maybe you haven't quite worked out how to monetize it yet, but you're growing that list, then this is going to be the best option for you. So who exactly is it for? Well, anyone that's really focused on creating a beautiful design aesthetic and wants to share content with their audience to create a bigger impact and to grow that community. If you're interested in giving Flowdesk a try, then go and sign up to their free 30 day trial using my link, because if you decide to go ahead with them, you'll get 50% off the membership fee for the next 12 months. So as promised, let's dive into a cost feature comparison of these five platforms. This is correct info at the time of recording. Recording. However, you may want to refer to the pricing of your chosen platform just before you sign up because things may have changed, which they tend to do a lot. But this will give you a really nice overview as to where each of the platforms sit for both a beginner with only a few hundred subscribers versus someone that's been in email marketing for a while with 5,000 subscribers. Okay, so let's start with MailChimp. So as I've said before, there is a free account. However, there is a whole lot of things that you cannot do on the free account, which includes automations. Um, you're able to send one welcome email, but that's as much as you can do. So say we've got an email list of 500. That's the minimum they show us in this, in this instance. So you've got the essentials, which is $9.99 per month, uh, which allows for, you know, some AB split testing, multi-step journeys, etc. MailChimp recommends the $14.99, which is what I would recommend to my clients because it allows you to actually build out journeys. So what this means is multiple email sequences. What the essentials one does with uh, the multi-step journeys, it only allows uh, two to three emails. So if you're wanting to send out multiple in more of a sales funnel slash nurture sequence format, then this is going to be the best option for you. So that's $14.99 for a 500 person list. Let's jump up to 5,000. So as you can see on their standard plan, you'll be looking at $80 a month. All right, convert kit. So we'll just go with monthly because we're doing that currently. However, with your yearly plan, you do get two months free, which is a really nice option. There is a free plan up to a thousand subscribers. Uh, but again, it's missing the automations, which is something I would highly recommend if you're getting started with email marketing. It's well worth your time and effort to go up into a higher paid plan. So for 300 subscribers, it's $9 per month. If we look at what the Creator Pro gives us, personally, I don't think, think the Creator Pro offers enough value for anyone getting started with email marketing, unless you're really taking it to that next level. So let's just go with the Creator version. Uh, so at 300 subscribers, it's $9 per month. Let's jump up to 5,000. Again, $79 per month. Now we'll pop over to active campaign. So let's pull that number down to 500 because this is what we've sort of been comparing against all platforms. So their light plan has is $15 per month. They do not have a free option. However, they've got marketing automation. They've got everything else you sort of need under that light plan. The comparison to plus is is yeah, again, taking things to the next level. So this is really customized content that's going to be delivered to your subscribers. And I mean, it, and it does jump up quite significantly in the fee. So I would stick to your light version. So let's see how many, how much it will be with 5,000. 
$110 a month. So yes, it's pricey. It does do a lot and it's really great from a CRM point of view as well. So they do offer more of a sales functionality. Um, but if you're just looking for email marketing, it is quite an expensive option. Looking at mailer light, so the minimum they offer is a thousand, which is fine. So you can set up a free account with uh, mailer light, which is nice to see. And to be honest with you, looking through the free plan versus a premium plan, I think it offers a lot. So it's it basically does everything you need it to do. It offers the landing pages, email automation, segmentation, even A-B split testing for free, which is incredible. So yep, if you've got a thousand subscribers, the free plan here is amazing. Let's jump up to 5,000 just to compare costs. So 5,000 is looking at $30 a month, which I think is so reasonable. If you jump to annually, you have a saving of over $100, which is amazing. So now we jump over to Flowdesk, which is $38 per month, and it gives you everything. So you have all the automation, you have all the functionalities, all the segmentation, landing pages, etc., etc. And you can have a list of a thousand, ten thousand, and million people on your list, and it's not going to cost you any more. I do have a special discount code. If you do want to use my link, you'll get Flowdesk for half the price for the first 12 months if it is something you're wanting to jump to. One thing to note is even if you are a beginner, have a think about what you're wanting to do with your email marketing moving forward because even if you go for a cheap or free option now, if it's going to be really expensive once you start growing your list or once you start adding new features, then it may become quite cost prohibitive and you may jump ship to another platform. And let me tell you from experience that jumping from platform to platform is a headache. It's really annoying to do. Not only is it getting all your subscribers over from one platform to the other, but setting up all your workflows again, any of your templates. I recommend just having a bit of a think about where you want this to head in the future and just planning for that when you choose your platform. But if you're just getting started with email marketing and you want to fast track your newsletter process, then go and watch my video which shares four examples of email newsletter ideas that you can start using in your email marketing strategy right away. So that's it for me for today. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below with the email marketing platform that you're thinking of moving to or getting started with.